Hey everybody, welcome back to Mama's East Texas Kitchen. Today we are making an applesauce spice cake. I think you're really gonna like this one. All right, let's get started on today's video. Okay, I found this recipe that I'll, I'll be sure and link where I got it in the description below. It looks really easy. I haven't ever made this before, but it looked really good. It's an applesauce spice cake. So this is what you're gonna need to get started. I've got one stick of softened butter we're gonna put in our stand mixer. Now you could use hand mixer on this. I just like using the stand mixer any chance I get. And then we're gonna put two cups of sugar in it. And you're gonna cream the butter and sugar. Okay, once you get that done, you need to add two eggs. I'm also going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. We're gonna mix that. Okay. I'm also gonna add a cup and a half of applesauce. This is my homemade applesauce. Um, jarred or canned applesauce that you get at the store would work just fine here if you don't have your own. Okay, now we're gonna add our dry. I've got two cups of flour. I'm gonna add some bacon powder, baking soda, allspice, some cinnamon, and some salt. And we're gonna give that a quick little just, and we'll add in our flour mixture. I'm gonna put in about half, get that mixed. Now the versatility of this recipe, if you wanted to go and get a spiced cake mix, you certainly could do that. I happen to have everything I needed to make, make it from scratch, so that's what we're doing today. Right, I'm gonna add the rest of my flour. Also gonna scrape down my sides a little. All right, I'm going to add in a fourth of a cup of chopped pecans. Is that a, is that a fourth or a half? Half a cup of chopped pecans. And three fourths of a cup of raisins. Now, if you don't like raisins, just leave them out. It, it's not that big of a deal. We all like raisins. Got a nine by 13 baking dish. We're just gonna Hit it with a little bit of chicken spray. Now you could also just put butter on it. That would work great too. We're gonna put this on, we're gonna put this on a 350 degree oven and it's gonna cook for 30 to 45 minutes. So just check it. And when a, a toothpick comes back or a knife comes back clean, it is ready to go. Spread that out evenly. Pop in your oven. All right, I'll be, we'll be right back and I'm gonna show you how to make up the uh, frosting for this cake. Now we're gonna make our frosting. I have three fourths of a stick of softened butter. I'm gonna add 
about a teaspoon of vanilla and then I'm just gonna mix this up real quick just get it broke down I'm gonna start adding my powder powdered sugar we're gonna add three cups I'm gonna add, add just a little bit at a time in the rest of my powdered sugar. The rest of my milk. That's a total of three tablespoons of milk. All right. Okay, our cake is ready. Let's put our frosting on. Gently just start moving it over your your cake. One thing I've learned about frosting cakes is you got to be patient because if you try to rush it, you're going to tear your cake up. Again, if you wanted to, you could always buy a can of vanilla cake frosting. But I think this was easy to make and it's got less preservatives and stuff of what you're going to get in the store. Okay, and to finish this amazing little cake up, we're going to put some pecans on top. And you put as much as little as you want here. I just want to make sure everybody has a bite of pecan. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's cut this and try it back. This is definitely fall in a cake. It's so good. Any gathering you wanted to take this to or for your family during the fall season, they would absolutely love. I highly recommend this one. Thank you so much for joining us today on Mama's East Texas Kitchen. Hey, if you like this video, I've got some more desserts sitting right here for you. We'll see you on the next video.